Okay, let's see what... You there, Tim? Yeah, I'm here. Some height. Who's going first? Definitely not Eric. <laughs> Well, you can go ahead and check it out, can't you? Eric, are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, we're going to try Rain Hall Farm, Rain Tree. Just let me get sorted now, I'll come back to you. I might just check the feet for deer.
of us into Rain Hall Farm. And now we're going to see whether we can get a cup of tea or coffee. Got a full four row of uh, John Morgan. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure now. Uh, as it was. Uh, start the noisy thing up. Out of the spaces. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Hell of a lot of bits in there. The actual yeah. strength of it is just. Because of the curvature. On the basis that... It's all curved. Where's, where's the other piece oh. that we had a minute ago? Uh, Down there. there. That's a, was it 15 or 16 tail? 16 tail. 16 tail thickness. Yeah. It's like the thickness of a coat line. Yeah. Yeah, when it's, once it's all together like that... You put a slight curve in it and it becomes really rigid. Yeah. Really strong. You could stand on that. Once yeah. you've got this lot of rivets and you can sit in there quite yeah. easily. But don't, because if you do the tail will come off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've already found out it's got a point where it's quite nose heavy now. Right. Yeah. One more. There we go. Yeah. Another one. Oh, Obviously, you've got to start somewhere, so you've got to leave one hole for a rivet. Just got to connect up the aileron cables up here. Yeah. And uh, seat in and a bulkhead, or the other way around, and uh, and it's done then back here. Well, a pair of hands always. Yeah. you might So are those other things then kind of locating holes? Um, well they, they clamp up, they pull the two bits of into each other. Oh I see. Clicos they're called and they, 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 they're spring loaded. Mm.
So you said originally speaking, you, the cowling wasn't set up like this? No, it's all one piece. Right. But the beauty of this now is you can hinge it up like a car bonnet. Yep. And just get to one side if you want to, without having to take the whole down, you know. Mm. And it looks pretty up. Yep. Looks like a 1930s Ford. Yep. All but lift it up. I'm not going to. No, no. Because it's fiberglass. But you, you, the, the strength in that is absolutely unbelievable. Cool. Yeah, it's Tot so totally rigid, rigid isn't it? Everything yes. on it now, every single bit that we've done, when you consider that we've fabricated all this at 16 pounds, mm -hmm. I mean, that is that's probably stronger than my RV. Right. That's not too bad now, the micro light, is it? Yeah, it's excellent, yeah. You wouldn't know, you, be honest, if you didn't know, if you hadn't no. been told you came in here, you wouldn't class that as a micro light, would you? No Especially way. being all metal. No. You'd think that's a, a Group A aircraft. Yeah, yeah. Most people do when they see it. Mm. You know, Incredible design to get so much strength in, into such a lightweight. Yeah. And it looks good. Mm. That's, oh, the, yeah, that's yeah. the real yeah. thing. Mm. It just looks good. It just looks like an aeroplane ought to look like. It, yeah. it reminds me of a 1940 Stinson. If mm -hmm. you stand here yeah. and see the screen and the cowl, it puts you very much in the mind of a Stinson. And, you know, it's, it's real 1940s mm. technology yeah. mm. with modern materials. Mm. Yes. Just to complete the job? Well, why not? more material, you know, worries. We haven't... Quite an elaborate bracket for the seat belt. That, um, yeah, that takes the actual seat as well. Okay. That's... The camera's rolling. That is what the entire aeroplane is made of. <laughs> and you can just... Hang on, come back a little bit. You could just... Oh, no, mate. Amazing. Would you want to fly in an aeroplane made of that? Well, initially, no, but having said that... Having it, seen this... Having seen I what happens... I'll I can't yes. wait. <laughs> <laughs> These are, of course, the seatbelt mountings. Yep. And, and it takes the seat itself, yeah. the back of the seat. Well, I was just filming the other side, and I thought, yeah. as an amazing it's sort fairly, of shape and strength and everything. Yeah, fairly lumpy bracket. Yeah. Yeah. It's like those uh, on the back for the seat. So they're, again, they're fairly big and lumpy um, to take the strength. And they just run on the um, the line of the formers and yeah. everything. Watch it, Edward. it will go up on its nose. Yeah. It's not heavy. Not heavy. And you pick Eric. up the back. Gee, I just called you Eric again. I've got that man on the line. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Silly, isn't it? Yeah, couple of nice stainless screws. That's all later, you know. Yes. And uh, we'll uh, that's the it for the day, then, is it? Yes, that's it. We're going to pack up and go home. Uh, a good, good day. Another good day. Yeah, another good day. For They've real. all been good days, haven't they? Well, right up until when I. Up the other side of the They've mostly been good but even that wasn't a bad day, it wasn't a dreadful no, day. No, we no, still we, made progress in yeah, the day. We've, so we've made progress every single day we've worked on it. Yeah. Some days, huge amounts of progress, yeah. some yeah. days not quite so much. No, it looks, looks brilliant.